In this beginner InDesign tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a square and a square frame in Adobe InDesign. We have a basic page here. Now over on the left hand side, you'll notice your toolbar. Next to each other is the rectangle frame tool and the rectangle tool. The rectangle tool shortcut key is M and the frame tool is F. Now if I click on just the rectangle tool and I'm going to make a rectangle here on the right hand page, click and drag will allow you to make a rectangle just like this. Now, if you want that rectangle to be a perfect square, all you have to do is hold shift while you do this. So we can create a perfect square just like that. Now, every shape has a stroke and a fill or a lack thereof, but you can decide that in the properties panel. So if I have this guy selected in the properties panel, drop down windows if you don't see it over here on the right, we can include a stroke and we can change the thickness of that stroke. We can also include a fill and select one of our swatch colors. So this here is a rectangle and we can also get rid of the fill and stroke. Over here, we could select zero for the stroke or if I undo that, you might see on the left hand side underneath your toolbar with this guy selected, we have the fill and the stroke here. If I click on one or the other and click the little slash, that'll get rid of either the fill or the stroke. Now a frame can do some of the same elements, but it's gonna show up different on your page. So if we create a frame and we're creating a rectangle, we can hold shift. I can even hold shift and option or alt on PC to create a frame or a rectangle from the center out, just like that. And when I let go, you'll notice an X in the middle of this frame. That's to indicate that this frame is a place where you want to put graphics. So you would create frames as placeholders for images and pictures in your design. You can do the same thing with shapes. But the difference is if this shape did not have a fill, just as this frame does not have a fill or a stroke, I'm not gonna be able to see where that shape is very well compared to where the frame is, where I'm indicating this is a spot where I actually want some images to go. So if this was just a header placeholder rectangle, I wouldn't even realize that, hey, actually, I want that header to have an image, so I'm gonna create a frame that has an X in it so that later I can come back and place that image in there. Now to place an image into either of these, if you have an image in your document, you can either go up to File, Place, and that's gonna give you a little thumbnail preview to place an image in, or if you have an image already, you can literally hit Command or Control C to copy that image, and then you could right click on the frame and hit Paste Into. That's gonna paste the image into here. You have all sorts of fitting options. Right click on it again, go down to fitting. You can fill the frame proportionally and all this kind of stuff so that the content fits the frame. But if you're just wanting to create a square or a rectangle, you can do that here with the rectangle tool, holding shift, create a square just like that here in Adobe InDesign.